Here's my thoughts on this new PlayStation handheld, which there's lots of rumors about right now. So grab a coffee and let's chat. All these reports have me slightly worried and I'm not sure what Sony is going for here. I do think a PS Vita 2 could absolutely crush it today. That device, when it was launched over 10 years ago now, was I think ahead of its time and there was one or two questionable decisions with the proprietary storage for example and then other things like the advent of mobile gaming was really taking off then and that probably maybe had a little bit to do with the PS Vita not being as successful as it could be. However, fast forward to 2023 and handheld gaming is on the up. Look at the Switch, the Nintendo Switch is absolutely dominating everywhere and then you've now got the Steam Deck and about a million other devices which are very similar which are launching every other week it seems. So if Sony decided to do a PS Vita 2 I really think there would be a big appetite for that. However a streaming only device which is actually tied to PlayStation's Play Anywhere remote play I'm not so sure about that. What do you think? Do you think this is a good idea? Because you basically then need the PlayStation 5 to be able to play games on this handheld device as it has no horsepower of its own to play the games locally. There's a lot of PlayStation exclusive games now on PC via Steam and there's a lot of services that allow you to play games which you own in your Steam library from a remote server somewhere and they will stream it to your device whether that's a Chromebook, a laptop or whatever, something that's not powerful enough to get the best out of this game. That's something to keep in mind. I know we talk about remote play here, but that could be an option for this new handheld device. It could be tied into your PlayStation Plus subscription. Sony could do a deal with one of these providers that if you have PS Plus Premium, for example, you can stream some of these PlayStation 5 exclusive games to this device. It sounds very interesting. I'm probably still going to buy one, but hey, that's just me. I'll be making content on it here on the channel for your faces. And there was rumors a couple of years ago about a PSP 5G, so a PlayStation Portable 5G, due to some patents i think it was that sony had lodged about 5g technologies or it was in their earnings report something like that i'll try and put some articles up on screen about it but all these things are very interesting and make me think that sony has been working on this for a very long time and what worries me the most about this is the price point. So say it is a device which tethers to your PlayStation 5 and streams games from that you can play on this device. How much would you be willing to pay for that? I think it would need to come in well under $200 to be worthwhile. However, Sony's pricing model, nothing is really cheap. It's kind of a premium gaming brand at this point. And you think about the DualSense Edge, that's over $200, so no way are you going to get a device which is like that split in two with a 1080p screen in the middle for less than the price of the DualSense Edge. Very interesting times ahead. I am still interested in this device and would like to pick one up depending on the price point. That's the big thing for me. If it's really expensive, it's going to be a no-go. If they can hit round about that $200 or less mark, definitely gets a thumbs up, it's worth a try, but given the price of the DualSense Edge, mm, I see that being unlikely. And similar systems like the Logitech G Cloud, costing $350. Wowzers. The more I think about it, it would be quite cool to have this controller split in two with a nice big screen on it, so you could just chill out in see other rooms of your house, or if you're out and about, if it allows that, and just go trophy hunting, that would be quite cool. Or maybe your PlayStation 5 is in a different room in your house, which someone's using the TV, and then you could still play your games. One thing this has made me want to do is move to PlayStation Vita Island. If you know what that is, you know all about PlayStation Vita. So I want to get my hands on one of these, try and find one which is a good condition, decent price, and document it here on the channel. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want all the technical specs and all the details about this new PlayStation handheld, which is coming in 2023, check out this next video on screen now.